As Kentucky's Attorney General, Daniel Cameron has a lot of name recognition, and that's helped propel him to the top of some polls. It's also made him a target for attack ads from one of his opponents, former U.N. Ambassador Kelly Kraft. But in the end, he's confident those attacks won't hurt his momentum. Some folks are, are running on ads and we're running on a record. And Attorney General Cameron says his court battles against Governor Andy Beshear make him the perfect choice to unseat the Democratic incumbent in the fall. Demonstrated time and time again that we will do what's right without fear of favor. I'm a lead candidate in this race that can say when Andy Beshear uh, decided to shut down churches. I went into federal court and got churches reopened in nine days. When he instituted his travel ban and told people they couldn't leave the state without coming back in quarantine for a period of 14 days, I went into federal court and got that executive order struck down as well. Cameron has also touted his endorsement from former President Donald Trump. We asked him whether this week's civil verdict that found Trump liable for sexual battery and defamation tainted that endorsement. Obviously, you know, this civil matter uh, was something from uh, decades ago and, you know, I don't know how the Trump, uh, Trump folks are, are going to approach that in terms of whether they appeal or not, but at the end of the day, honored to have President Trump's support and endorsement. We also asked him whether he agreed with recent comments his opponent, Kelly Kraft, has made regarding transgender people. Well, I'll let Kelly Kraft speak for herself. I'm running for uh, to be governor of every single person in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And I'm going to stand up for the values of the men, women, and children of all 120 counties and hope to lead in a way that brings people together. And we asked if he will commit to debating Bashir on stage if he wins the Republican nomination. Absolutely. Look, we are going to uh, articulate to uh, Kentuckians as w wide and as far as possible um, just the failures that he has uh, had over these last three years and I'll do it to his face and I'll do it out uh, in as many communities as I can. I'll have interviews with Ryan Quarles airing on Thursday and Kelly Kraft airing on Friday. Cameron, Kraft and Quarles are the top three candidates in terms of polling and fundraising. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.